Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to talk about this pen I picked up today. Um, I did an unboxing, but um, I don't know. I was like down in the weeds about stuff, and it was kind of pointless. So um, I'm going to give this a take two and try to be a little more concise. So this is the uh, Smooth Precision um, Pens. I believe that's the company, Smooth Precision. Let me grab it. I got the box right here. Smooth Precision Pens, and it comes in this guy. Pull that out, and you get your pen. Simple. Um, I think after a discount, which was like 10%, this was 150 bucks. This is their, uh, or at least, I don't know what they call it now, but this is the Tie Scribe Go Mini, or was. Now it might be the V2 or something. Um, there's a couple things about this that I don't love. Um, purely because I thought they were different. And I'm noticing some scratching on it now. And I see why. Uh, I may check with them on that. Uh, but uh, you can see this is a cool pattern. This is their dragon scale pattern. So really cool milling. And it's got like micro milling inside of that. Um, you can see the seam pretty well. Um, I guess they're not trying to hide that. And then you have stone washing on the cap on the clip, which is also your mechanism. And I think that's it. And then underneath, um, but not up here or anywhere else, which is kind of odd to me. I don't know why they didn't just go polished on this stuff. Um, what I was noticing there is as you move the mechanism, I was noticing some uh, kind of gritty feeling before. And that's because it's actually rubbing on the side here, right here as it comes down. And you can see it's scratching the shit out of that area right there which i don't know if that's normal um because i actually have another one of these which is why i got it because i thought the updates were gonna make a sort of a difference um yeah so this one has similar markings so maybe that is normal so you see that right there how it's kind of marked up right along there and underneath and that's where it i guess hits here and comes around but this one's super smooth i mean you don't feel or hear anything this one you hear a lot um so i don't know if that's normal where you know and it'll just wear in as we go here and then it'll be better could be um, I'll check with them on that just to make sure because it is a little odd. Um, but the thing that uh, bothers me about it is I heard they got rid of the clicky on the back here in the V2. And I was like, oh, okay, sweet. Because I initially uh, was trying to get one, another one, to fit a pouch. So I have this garage built gear pouch right here that I have. And I'm trying to fill it up, and I need a pen. So I'm like, sweet. I will get a shorter pen. Hopefully, my Tie Scribe Go Mini will fit. So I get this, and I try it. And unfortunately, it does not fit. And I'm like, okay. But then I'm told they got rid of the clicker on the back. The, it doesn't actually click anything, but it does push the clip down a little bit. So you can kind of use it like that. It's kind of cool. I actually really like that but they got rid of it so i'm like oh sweet so now it'll be short enough and it'll uh it'll fit or be closer to fitting right well ironically or oddly it's not actually shorter so they got rid of the click part but they left that area up there. So I don't know if they were trying to make room for something. I don't know. It's weird to me. Um, it seems like the same mechanism. The only difference that I notice is the travel actually seems shorter on this. Actually seems like it travels shorter. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It's so hard to tell. And if you look at it like this, it looks like the width here 
inside the mechanism, like from this edge to that edge, is wider on this one than this one by a little bit. You see that? And this is the naked eye, so who knows? So I don't know what the goal was there. I mean, I'm sure it's just, you know, CQI stuff. But this mechanism is, like, fantastic. I really love this one. Have had no issues with it. Have loved it. This one off the bat is not my favorite. I, I like the extra travel there, um, if there is any. And I like the click button on top because I can kind of fidget with it and utilize it. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I got to just give it time to uh, wear in or whatever, if that's what it's supposed to do. Um, but yeah, they had this in a DLC. And I wish I had gotten there fast enough to get it because that one looks really good. This one I was worried because it has the stone wash up here and the cap, but nowhere else. It just seems odd to me. Um, you know, it's almost like they didn't want to polish these parts, you know, or maybe it was going to cause an issue or something. I don't know. But anyway, I, I think the size thing is annoying because I thought it was going to be shorter. Now, I guess it's annoying to me, and I didn't do enough research. I didn't actually look up specs. I just assumed things. So, you know, that's on me, I guess. Anyway, um, the pen otherwise is cool. I have a Parker refill in here. So um, this here is a right in the rain notepad. Click it on, and we can write stuff writes just like the other one um it's comfortable all that good stuff polished titanium looks solid um i believe these are like 180 dollars retail and then if you get some kind of discounts cool they also dropped a cool like black camo multi-cam pen i might go try to find one of those now um but I would love to see an even smaller size that fit Parker's. That's the problem. Trying to find a smallish pen that fits Parker's is hard. Uh, Parker refills is what I mean by that. So here's a couple of pens. Um, oh, I don't have my Nottingham. It's uh, on my backpack. But here's the Saga, which is a pretty uh, popular pen. You can see um, it's about the same length until you get to the clicker there. And um, I actually have not been using this as much. This is a fantastic pen, but it's also a $300 pen. So if anybody's interested, uh, let me know. I think I'm going to let this guy go. I think I paid like $320 or something like that. So I would, I don't know, sell it for $285 or something like that. Uh, there you go. It's got the blue. And uh, this one has the logo here, not down here. And the number on it is 3163, in case that means anything to anybody. So, anyway, um, that's it compared to a Saga. And then I showed it to you compared to the other one. Uh, any knives I can show it to you next to? Here's a um, Audacious Concepts uh, V5 driver or 5.0 driver. And then here is the Audacious Concepts V1 driver. So you can see those. It's bigger than both of those. Um, here is a Jacob Creates Chickity. Whoops. And it is a little bit smaller than the Chickity. Any knives you guys want to see it next to? Um, here, how about the F5.5? Popular knife. There it is next to the F5.5. So you can get an idea. Hey, why don't I grab a ruler too? <laughs> um, let's see. Here we go. Ruler style. We are at four and three quarters overall. Is that right? Four and three quarters overall? Okay. Yeah, see, it's not a very big pen. Um, and that, that's the size I like. Um, I need something smaller for these freaking pouches. I got the tech liner pen in my other pouch and that works. Um, so I don't know, but that unfortunately takes G2 minis. The one I have, I might try to see if they have one that takes Parker's and get that. Um, but I really do like this pen. I like the mechanism. I'm sure this will wear in. Um, 
And I might try to get the multicam if it's not already sold out. I, I, I kind of waited because I was like, ah, I have this one on the way, you know. Um, but we'll see. I might grab it. I just don't, I don't use pens that often. But when I do, I like to have a good one, you know. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, this is cool. I mean, look at that twirling. I mean, it looks really cool. This is the dragon scale one. They also now have a Valhalla one that they just released. Um, they have that multicam one. They have the stock ones. They got all types of stuff coming out now. I guess they unlocked some potential with uh, some kind of machine so they can do these cool milling patterns that nobody else does. Uh, really digging it. So I dig uh, the smooth precision pens. I dig the Nottingham tactical pens. The Saga is a great pen. Refine EP1 is a good pen. There's a lot of good options. I'm not a tactile guy. Um, I know a lot of people love their pens. They're just there's just always something for me that I don't love. Thickness or the grip or the length. It's always something. Uh, these are a great length and um, they feel good. I do wish the mechanism was a little more satisfying. It is very smooth. It's definitely getting smoother as we go because it's probably just going to keep wearing until that is completely broken in um so it has that but i do wish it was a little more like resistance and then it would kind of snap you know but it's very easy to manipulate i do love the jimping on here so you have that and that's how you operate it you flip the clip around um i didn't mention i mentioned the cap a bunch of times but i didn't show it to you it has a t8 on the back and that is probably the thing that kind of, it doesn't kill it or anything, but like it throws it off for me. This pen is really cool overall. And the, um, the older ones, the V1s or whatever, they look way cooler with the clicker on it and the logo on the back, right? This is, I guess their old logo. Cause it used to be called survival urban survival gear. And now it's smooth precision pens. But they could come up with a new logo or something. Um, because this, to me, right there, looks way cooler than that. Like, I don't know who thinks the cap with torques on it is somehow cooler looking. Um, this is, It's the same length. I'd much rather have this. Now I have a little fidget factor. You know, I can play with that a little bit. Um, and it has the logo on it. So, uh, to me, it feels like a production thing. Like, they found a way to make it faster because of that, cheaper because of that. So, they're saving money on it. But it, it's definitely not better. Um, at least, aesthetically, it's for sure not better. And functionally, I liked having the clicker. You could kind of click and then push over. You could do different things. So, I would vote to bring it back if they... Um, or taking votes. So, anyway, there you go. Smooth Precision Pens, Dragon Scale uh, Mini Pen V2 or whatever. Um, I'll link it down below. I don't have an affiliation with them or anything. I just picked one up. So, um, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.